Hello and welcome to this short introduction to uh, how I've solved the problem of powering my ZV-1, my Sony ZV-1 from the mains and be confident that if I'm involved in a two hour stream or the necessity to run for beyond the one hour of the battery life of the native, the native battery of the camera, um, I want to be able to not worry about it shutting down on me. Okay, so in order to do this, let me just go to here and show you the setup, uh, or at least the basis of the setup. The big issue with the ZV-1 is that, uh, and at the moment now, this isn't as it should be. As you can see, I've got a small rig frame around the camera, and therefore it's not as it should be. But uh, for now, I didn't want to take it off and have to put it on. So just uh, assuming, uh, assuming that uh, you can uh, source this and place this on small rig, stuff is very easy to find on, on the internet. So you notice here one of the big issues with the, this particular camera is the access to the battery. Note here the normal mounting um, thread is here at the bottom of the camera. Uh, this is well below the bracket as you can see. And it's slightly offset from the center. So a, when you mount it, it's impossible to take the or open the battery compartment. So if I wanted to put a new battery in here, I'd have to take the camera off its, off its mount and then insert the battery like so. Now, the problem with that is, is that having to de-rig it all the time to actually do that is quite tedious. And it's quite tedious if you're running um, uh, a battery in, uh, for one hour at a time, which is not great. So that is a problem. Now the solution to that problem is to get this small rig frame. It's actually very good. You'll see it's very well designed. It's actually a metal frame. It's aluminum as the Americans say, or aluminum as we say in the UK. It, it really only covers the front part of the camera. You can see around the back there is no covering uh, and there's some uh, extensive covering around the bottom. Uh, the pop-out screen is not an issue or a problem. There's plenty of freedom to pop the screen out and adjust it however you need to adjust it. So you can swivel the screen around fully. So there's no, there's no obstruction to the screen, okay? It's totally clear on the top, so you can mount anything that's mountable on the top as you could do normally. You've got additional quarter inch uh, threads here to drop stuff in. You have access to the ports here, should you wish to access the ports, there's no problem there. So its main advantage is, is that it allows you to mount it on any one of these um, uh, any one of these quarter inch uh, threads here to mount it uh, either center or slightly off center to free this area to allow you to actually go in and change the battery and all you have to do is uh, drop drop it down there is one issue with this that it just sticks a little bit if you just push the body of it it pops up i don't know whether that's just a particular char characteristic of my small rig or whether they're all like that so the solution to that is to buy one of these um, which is a a dummy battery that dummy battery, if you buy it as a um, if you buy it as a pack, it will come with the power, the battery adapter, which plugs into here, and then you plug in and then you plug into the mains. Okay, so that's the the full the full hit on that. Or else you can buy this separately if you wish to do that, and then buy a a multi a multi voltage adapter, which will allow you to and also you have. A plethora of these to interchange in order to get the right size to fit into the battery um, to the battery the dummy battery okay and then you can set the voltage on this little ro rotary thing here with a tool that allows you to set it to whatever voltage and in the case of this particular camera it's uh, 4 volts 4.5 volts I think it'll even take 5 volts to, uh, if, if you've got one that just does 4 4.5 or 5 volts it'll actually do it perfectly well Okay, so that's, that's really how you would do it. And so all you need to do then is place the dummy battery into here. Let me get it the right way around, which is that way around. Pop that into there. And you'll notice now as I pop it in, the wire is dangling down, okay? And you would take this and plug this into the adapter that you've got and it powers it up perfectly fine. You'll notice in that particular case, this flap is, is hard down here, which, which may be a problem. Um, all I've done is I've done a little sort of a Heath Robinson thing, which is a quarter inch screw with a bit of plastic with like a cam on it. So if I just screw it into there and say it's very Heath Robinson, there may be better solutions than this. But what I've done is I've allowed it to do that. When I turn that, it just prevents it from flopping right down. So at least there's no danger of uh, the 
the battery compartment flap to be caught and damaged in some way. So that's basically how I uh, have achieved the goal of actually um, being able to provide power to my uh, ZV-1 without having to worry about any battery issues. I hope that's been helpful. Um, it, all the items I bought off, e off not eBay, I don't buy stuff off eBay. Um, I, eBay is quite good if you want to look around, but I, I, I tend not to trust eBay. That's just a personal opinion. I bought it all off Amazon and they're all available there and there's plenty of options out there. The cost of the whole thing isn't that great. The most expensive thing is the small rig, if I remember rightly. You're talking about five pounds for the, um, for the dummy battery and you're talking about 12 pounds for the, the actual power adapter if you wish to do that. So plenty of choices out there. I hope that's been helpful. Certainly has been very useful for me. It means I can place the battery on a stand, I don't have to worry about taking the compact flash out. Is it the compact flash or the, the, the SD card? Sorry, the SD card. Popping the SD card out to pop into the computer to do editing. So it works very well for me and I hope it does for you. So hope that's been useful and uh, look forward to seeing you next time.